Hello everyone, welcome to the yet another video tutorial of Scroll Me theme from Xpress Themes. Well, in this video, I'll show you how you can configure this Our Block page and Contact Us page and have it in the menu in the horizontal scroll form. So let me start by configuring our blog section. First, you need to log into your WordPress account and then create a category for blog and add post to it. Like just go to categories. And just create a blog category by writing blog or such well as you can see I have already created a blog category and added some posts to it I'm just gonna show you how I have done it I have created a category like this now then just click here and add post in this category click on add new put the title Put the content if you like. I'm just gonna get my dummy content from here. You can add a feature image and make sure to select the category you created for it and publish it. Similarly you can add your other post for this category too which you want to show in your blog page. Now after you have done so go to appearance and then click on customize now here you'll find blog settings just click here put a section title which you want to show as you can see in our demo site this is the section title then you need to choose the category you created well I'm just gonna choose blog since I have added many posts here then you can write a read more text which will appear under each blog post then you can click on save now let's go back now you need to go to horizontal scroll page section just go there and sorry you need to configure a section you need to put a single word like without any space kind of a word text here so that you can use it while adding a menu in your site then you need to select a predefined layout if you want the layout of our uh, of the layout that our theme has provided to you select predefined layout and select blog and then click on save after this you need to go to appearance and then click on menus So that you can add that section in your menu for the scrolling horizontal scroll now the menus are added for scroll with the help of custom link now go to custom link here you need to put the URL of your website and all the tag so I'm just gonna take the URL I have used for other menus that is here you will have your site URL then you need to put ash hash home and slash the word here would be the word you have kept here just let's copy it and you need to put it here so for now I'm gonna copy still here as I am doing in local host my URL is appearing as such but you might be a little different than this I copy the word I made for that page and paste it there now you need to put the link text this is the menu text which you, you will sh see on the menu so I'm gonna write our blogs and click on add to menu now your custom link for our blogs is added make sure you check this primary menu and click on save your menu is saved now now let's go to our front end and check our scrolling section this is the front end of our website and uh, you will find here our blogs which will scroll like this and will show your title and all your blog posts that you have added to your blog category now the next page that I'm going to show you how you can configure is this contact us page now to do this again go back to your WordPress dashboard and for that contact page you need to install a contact form 7 plugin 
after you have installed it and uh, activated it you will find this small icon just under comment here you need to go you need to configure your contact form from here click on contact form I have may already made a contact form but you can add new from here we'll just I'm gonna show you how I have done it here you can you need to put the contact form title you need to configure the boxes that you want in your contact form and click on save after you have done so you will be provided with a short code that you can find here this is the short code which is uh, used to show the contact form as you can see in our demo this is the layout of our contact page and I'm going to show you how you can do this exactly for this after you have uh, configured your contact form we need to go to pages click on add new now you need to enter a title and I just will copy the title from here and then here you need to use page builder while making any page or doing any configuration with this theme make sure you uh, install all the plugins that we have suggested you with this theme you need to also can uh, install page builder plugin then you need to add rows I'm gonna add two rows well three rows then you need to add widget for this and this column I, I'll add text widget just gonna duplicate it and put it here now for this one I'm gonna add Twitter feed widget as you can see we have Twitter feeds here now let's configure the first widget click on edit you need to put the title And here you will need to put the short code that I have said. I'm sorry, I forgot to copy it. And let me again go back to this contact form. Let's open it in the new tab and let's get that short code. Just copy this short code and you need to paste it here. Now click on done. Now this first widget configuration is done. Now for the next one. I have the dummy address right now of our company which I'm going to put here. Then click on done. Now after we have configured both the widgets, now the third widget also. Just put a title. Select a layout and you can display a follow button if you want and then click on done. Now, I'm afraid uh, our Twitter feeds won't come because I haven't configured the Twitter feed uh, plugin yet. But you can configure from here as uh, uh, if you have installed it. Now let's publish this page. This is our contact us page. Now let's go to appearance. And then click on customize. Well, I think we have it already here in one of our tab. I'll go to scroll in customize. You need to go to contact settings and you need to put the section title and you need to select. Let's refresh this page first. Go to contact settings, put the section title and then select the page we created that is this one and click on save and publish. Now for the Google map you can see just above.
you need to add that map from widget area so after we have done with this let's go to appearance and then click on widget here you will find google map widget area where you need to put a text widget you can find from here you need to put the text widget there and you need to put a google iframe which i'll show you how you will get it first log into maps.google.com then you can search a location i'm gonna search my company's location then after you have get it you need to click this menu and then you need to click on share or embedded then you need to copy this iframe and just paste it here now after this We have defined here width and height also as you can see now click on save after it is saved you need to go to appearance and menu to add your contact page in your menu the process is pretty much simple as in our blog you need to add a custom link I'm gonna copy the link So here, and we need to get the tag that we have kept that is contact us. Just copy it. Slash, paste it. And then put the title, contact us and add to menu. After this make sure you check this primary menu and click on save menu. Now let's go to our front end and see how this will appear in our site. Now that you can see you have our contact us in your menu which will scroll like this here is our contact form with address and your google map and everything so this is how you can configure your our blog page and our contact us page in a horizontal scroll as in our demo site so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, if you have any confusion you can always refer to our online documentation where we have also explained it here about our blog and contact section. So thank you very much. Take care.